What's up guys, it's Trailbound Chris, and today I wanna to talk about this guy. So this thing is a Amazon special. I don't know, it's probably like 50 or 60 bucks, and it's a tire changing stand. It's even cheaper than the Tusk stuff on uh, Rocky Mountain, which is crazy. So I've got a good process for changing my tires with just normal tire levers on the ground, you know? But when I try to use this thing, it sort of messes with my flow because I haven't quite got it dialed in yet. I'm hoping that with time, this tire changing stand will make it easier to change the tires. I'm kind of like bearing with it and trying to like force myself to use it, but you know, maybe, maybe it's not even that great of a tool. I definitely think the part about holding the wheel is really nice, but they make, they make tire changing stands with just that, without this arm thing. So it's like, does this arm thing, is it worth getting or should you just get one without it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I've been trying to use this off and on for a while and I end up just sort of not using the full features of it. So I wanted to make this video, show you guys what I've learned to use it for and to see if you guys have any suggestions on how to get better use out of it. Or maybe it doesn't even work that great. So check out this video of me putting new shoes on the 19 with this cheap tire changing stand. All right, so we're gonna all right, so we're gonna pull the 525 off the 17, which is still pretty fresh. I think I only ran it like one or two rides. Put it on the 19. We'll get the ultra heavy duty tube in there, and we'll be uh, we'll be good to go for the race. All right, we got one off. The AT81 came off really easy, which is nice. Let's work on this uh, 525. This is a really cheap Amazon tire changer that I got. I'll let you know what I've kind of figured out so far, but I feel like there's there's a technique to using this, or maybe some modifications to make it uh, better and easier. So I'm just gonna break the bead with a uh, sprocket side up. And I have to put my foot on here, otherwise it tilts up, because this is too small. All right, so the bead's broken. I'm gonna flip it and break the bead on this side. I'm just centering the centering the tire in the rim. So the reason why I did it this way is I want the sprocket to be up so it's easier to deal with. I'm using WD-40. You can use your squirt bottles of soapy water if you want. Okay, so first thing, first uh, tip that I've learned is that you're gonna use this to center to center the tire on the rim. So that, that'll make it easier to pop this side off. I usually start with two tire levers. Now, I don't know if there's any tips. I've seen people push it off with this, but this thing is too short. I don't know if you have to have a nicer, you know, the Robocondo one is longer. Let me know if you think extending this would work to push it off the, off the bead. For me, it doesn't, it's not long enough, so I have to just kind of do it normally. So now the tire's centered, and you can go to the valve stem side. Just push that all the way down. Push the tire out. Last time I did this. See, that doesn't seem to work. It's like you want to be able to just push it on, but it doesn't. So I always end up just going like this. So 
So I used the tire irons up to this point and then I can use this to push over the last part, but. I feel like there's a better system to use that for putting on that first half of the tire. And I'm not sure how to do it. So from here, I don't know if you can use this or not. See, how do you... I feel like there's a... There's gotta be a better way to do this. I'm not, and I haven't figured it out yet. So I could... Be buddies in. Maybe I can just push this on now. Nope. There's a. Look. This seems so much slower use this tool it's like you need three hands whatever god damn it So I'm using this one to hold hold the bead down. It's kind of like a bead buddy, but it's just my hand and I'm constantly moving it. So squeeze that in there. Use this one to lock it in. This leg is holding it in place. Move that forward. And you're done. So I didn't use this at all for this part of the tire change. And I feel like there's, got, there's a good way to use it, but it just doesn't seem like it works how I want it to work. So let me know in the comments if you guys have a way to modify this or little tips and tricks on how to use this better because I would definitely make these go easier than they are. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Hit us up on Instagram at Trailbound Co. And uh, we'll see you guys out on the trail.